Okay, so another quick tip of video. Uh, so this one is just for creating custom hair, but working with the presets that you already have. So there's a few little, just little tips that I find that's really quite helpful when trying to use what you've already got and then make something new. Um, so let's say, for example, we've got this hairstyle, but we wanted to make a middle part in and have this kind of even on both sides. So to do this, if we go to the hair and now we want to convert that to an accessory, make the current shape. And we also want to detach that and make it a prop. So when working with props, one of the tips and benefits of this is the fact that if you hold down the control button and click and drag, you can quickly multiply, uh, duplicate the model. So that comes in really handy uh, when you know wanting to move the stuff around. So let's have a look at, um, let's edit this a little bit. So let's go to the hair. We're going to go to the edit mesh. And we're going to get rid of all the parts that we don't need. So like I said, I just want to keep that one side. Let's press shift and drag that will add to your selection. And let's try and get rid of the bits that we don't need. Actually, let's just grab this here. Okay, and control and click to get rid of that one. Get rid of that as well. And from here, I'm just going to go delete faces. That's okay. And okay, and then I'm going to get rid of these ones as well. Back here. And I want this here. I mean, that'll do for now. So now we want to um, re kind of like position the hair so we can use the tools in here to move it around. I did really want to keep the scalp, but I've accidentally deleted it, but it doesn't matter for now, for this example. Um, but say if we wanted to put that one there, and then let's go to, one thing that I use a lot is the soft selection tool. For moving around points, that works really nicely, so you can move it around here. The element tool's really nice for just being able to move stuff around as well so you can select individual strands and, and move it about and what I'll also do here as well actually I'll, I'll do it in a minute uh, but let's just say we've got this here and now we want to mirror this so the problem we have so like we can duplicate this but we want to try and mirror it there's no way of doing that unless you do this. So we go, let's control, drag. I'm gonna attach this back to the head. Then I'm gonna create, turn it into a hair, brow and beard. So we just want base for hair. Press apply. Now, once that's been made into a hair object, we can now use the scale tool and we can basically scale it the other way to mirror the hair. So, if we then go again, we want to convert that back to an accessory. We'll bake the current shape. I'm going to detach it again. Now we've got some gaps in the back of here. So there's a couple of ways we could do this. We could either go into the edit mesh tool and we can go element. Let's grab some bits of the hair and rotate and move it around. But say if you needed some more hair, 
what we'll do here. Let's say if we extract that mesh. That's okay. Okay, so what we want to do is convert this to a sub-item. I'm going to duplicate this hair again. Now this one with the sub-item in. I'm going to delete the bit that we don't want. So now we've just got this kind of hair element that we can move around and we can do stuff with. And what's really nice here is we can press control and drag and start building up the hair with that element. So let's do change the uh, pivot point to make it easier. So let's say we got rid of uh, one of these hair objects and we wanted to actually build the rest of the hair up with this element as well. You know, that's, that's doable also. So we can go drag. And you can see how quickly you can build up a, um, a quick base. I mean, I would normally go, once I would do something like this, I'd normally go into ZBrush to then start sculpting and moving things around. But you can do it with the edit tools in here. But, you know, we can scale things, rotate them. And then just start building it up until you've got plenty there. Then moving everything around to where you want it. So it's just a very quick example of how you can do it. Obviously, you take a bit more time, you can get a lot better results. And then once you've got all those parts together, you can merge them, merge them into one prop. And then you can select them all again and merge them into a mesh. So let's put that one on. We'll keep the flesh. Let's get rid of those ones. So say if that's the hair we wanted, we can then select all those parts, merge. Merge mesh. And then we can pick parent and then transfer the hair using create hair brows and beard and there you have a new hair object and this works in the exact same way if you're using hair cards or if you're using stylized cartoon sculpted hair as well quick and easy way to edit and adjust your hair and i think one of the main things that stands out for this is the, uh, the ability to mirror and copy and paste elements i mean i can quickly go through and show let's go hair cartoon packs. I'm going to do the same here. So again let's say we want to use this as a base to work from. We want to convert it to an accessory. So we're going to bake the current shape. We're going to detach it from the head. This one I'm going to edit the mesh. I'm going to separate out the base mesh so it extracts. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this one. Okay, turn that one into a sub-object so I can delete it. So now we've got the base on a separate object. Again on this one. I'm going to turn the base into a sub-object. That one so now we've just got the hair available and now I'm going to move this hair around and just create another kind of center party style so let's put that one like that and we're going to go duplicate again I'm going to have to I want to mirror this so I'm going to pick parent create hair size you can just that first anyway um, and then we're gonna convert back to accessory bake the shape 
attach it. Actually, keep them then in here we can edit the mesh. Um, go to element. Rotate parts of that, move it around until it matches how we want it to do. And just for those of you who have ZBrush, I will show you how this, what I would do in ZBrush at this point as well. So let's uh, do that. Load props. Let this merge then actually. I'm just gonna go, actually I will merge the two top hair bits. Those bits I'm going to merge. I'm going to keep the hair base separate. And now I'm going to attach that to the head. And we're going to create a hair object with that one as well. So it looks like I think it had to merge it all together anyway. Uh, for it to become a hair object. So now I'm going to take this, uh, let's do remove all, and I'm going to send it to ZBrush. So in ZBrush, we're going to go to the layer with the hair, which is here. After this, I would mainly be using the move topology tool. Uh, you'll see that it, the um, one side is flipped. So what we need to do here is go to display properties and the button double, I'll show double sided polys. And if you go, yeah, move topology and X for mirror, and if we start just moving it into place, actually, I'm going to turn the mirror off so I can make it better. So, actually, let's make it more of a side part in. And then you can use all the different tools around here, like inflate to change the shapes, move around, pinch, and all that type of stuff. So we can just tidy up the placements of where the hair is here a little bit better. And again, this can be done with the hair cards as well. And that'll do. And send it back. Go Z. So you can see the placements been changed and then you can go in and change the textures as well so i'm planning on making more of these quick tip videos so if there's anything that you actually would like me to show or explain please let me know and i'll make a video on it